What's up guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. We got a little Pro Street Mustang. We're getting ready to do a walk around. I just got back from the test drive. It's a 1967 with a 351 Windsor. Motor has been built. And the car is pretty fast. If you check out the test drive video, you can get that. Uh, we took it on some back roads, got up by some warehouses and had a little fun. So. Please check for availability. Some of these cars come in and sell pretty fast, especially when I get the videos up. Sometimes they sell right after somebody watches the video. So please check that on our website. Make sure the car is still available. What I'm gonna do today is walk around. We're gonna pop the hood, check the interior, look underneath, check the trunks. I got it back here out of the way, so there won't be any interruptions. And uh, it does have a kill switch on the back so that you can cut it off. It does have LED tail lights on it. I have a magnet tag stuck on the back for a quick takeoff there. Look at the tires on the back of this thing. It's got the roll bar in the back. Window was sticking there a little bit on the weather stripping. May just be off track. No? Interior looks pretty good. We will be going over that here shortly. I'm gonna start up front and uh, we're gonna walk around the whole car. Looks like the front bumper's in great condition. They definitely replaced that. Headlight bezels as well. See the trim on them look pretty good. Going across the hood. The edges and corners don't line up perfect. And pop the hood let you check it out aluminum radiator uh, electric water pump electric fans it also has electric fuel pump all the gauges are located on the dash i will be showing you that here in a moment under the hoods nice and clean this car is very loud going down the road paint job's a little bit dull been on here a while you can see some stress cracks in the paint but for the most part it looks pretty good it's got the skinny tires in the front trim around the front windshield looks pretty good it's got a little blue racing stripe going down the middle of the whole car looks like the mirrors have been replaced some of the trim showing signs of pitting they didn't replace all of it so Door handle's definitely been replaced there. I'm still kind of shaking from the test drive, so sorry if the camera's moving around. Uh, a little bubble coming through right there on the door. Car definitely needs a wax. In my opinion. Sorry about my shadow. Rear bumper is showing a little signs of pitting. It's not perfect. But it looks pretty good. Like I said, they put LED tail lights in it. Got her dirty on the test drive. A few chips going down the door. Could be some dings from a parking lot. Little bubbles right in the bottom of the door there. Same spot as the other side. 
This mirror has not been replaced. It's different from the passenger mirror. go ahead and open the trunk let y'all see they relocated the battery to the trunk the door the window is sticking right here on top it's done that pretty much every time and i've tried to open it i'm gonna roll it down it does roll down nice and easy it has been tinted it's been tinted a while so it's not perfect shape probably pull that off since only the couple windows are actually tinted I'm going to have to two-hand this. All right. Uh, on the trunk, it doesn't hold itself up, so you got to use the stick. The stick, it's got to come out. Battery has been relocated to the trunk. Uh, it does have a fuel cell. Gas gauge is not, hook, not hooked up to it, so the gas gauge does not work. Let me replace that with a metal plate down there. Roll cage coming into the trunk. See where they cut it and tubbed it. Weather stripping in the trunk sucks. It needs to be replaced. I mean, that's some of the worst weather stripping I've ever seen. <laughs> Definitely needs to be replaced there. All right. Looked around in here. Go ahead and set her back down. Let's jump on in here. Check the interior out. You can see it's got the Mustang lean. Seats always broke. And I believe probably because this car is fast. It really is. See where it's been tubbed out in the back. Needs a headliner. Probably won't put one in it. What's this? This may be our headliner. It says HL, so. Yeah, headliner in the box. Insulation, headliner insulation. So, you got your stuff back there, you can put it in. We don't work on them here. We just buy and sell, check them out. Door panel's actually in good shape. Weather stripping sucks on this one too. It needs to be replaced all around probably. Look at the bottom of the door. Not too bad. The jams. And checking over everything here. was a fun car to drive uh they told me it was manual valve body you can manually shift it but if you leave it in third it'll shift itself so they was wrong switches on the dash uh in order i think it was a uh, fuel pump water pump and electric fan check to see if the horn works horn works let's do that again <laughs> all you horn haters I should have done the switches first. Getting in a rush, start it up. Our uh, voltmeter's not working. I checked it with a battery checker and it's uh, charging about 13 and a half. Heat and air, none. Windshield wipers, yes. Tack. Tack does work, gas gauge does not work, speedo does not work, and none of the other gauges work either. You can also see the test drive, so please check that out. I think you'll like it. Motor's nice and quiet. Appreciate you watching. Like I said, check that test drive out. Hit subscribe, share these videos. 
I really appreciate that. I've also got a Snapchat, an Instagram, and a Facebook. You can see behind the scenes all the new stuff coming in. Uh, we do have a full inventory at maplemotors.com, so check that out. I've also got finance and information, transportation, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories on there. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.